Shalom. Giving all praise and glory and honors unto you. How about Shemi Al-Shai, Bashim, Kagradash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect. This is um, a quick video I want to do. Um, I was uh, thinking of doing something on the uh, on the mark of the beast. Uh, I was reading through a couple of articles. I was just trying to see what um, what articles or what news they had dealing with um, the uh, microchip implant or the brain implant. Um, seeing that it's a uh, 2020 now, we're coming out of a uh, 2019, the year of excuse me, the year of Karagma. Uh, we're now in 2020, the year of prophecy, and uh, this prophecy of uh, the mark of the beast, which is the uh, which the word for mark in the Greek is a uh, karagma. Um, um, I just want to see what uh what you know what was uh the update, um, and there's a couple of articles here. Um, I'm just going to go through the titles. Um, so you have this one here from uh, Collider. Collider.com. It says Possessor Cast and Brandon Cronenberg talk brain implant, um, which is basically a, a show of about um, about uh, these um, assassins that basically once they uh, have these um, brain implants and they use these brain implant microchips to go in different people's body and assassinate you. And that's the uh, premise of the show. But nonetheless, it's, it's, it's dealing with uh, the uh, brain implant. Now, how, now how deep this uh, show possessor goes into it is yet to be seen. All right, this is from uh, two hours ago. Uh, now you have this article here, uh, the scientist who got a brain implant to cure his alcohol his alcoholism. Um, actually, I believe, let's see, I believe he's actually died. All right. So this is from uh, one zero. Uh, it says the scientist who got a brain implant to cure his, his alcoholism. Uh, deep brain stimulation could help curb dr uh, drug and alcohol addiction. This is from January 30th. 2020 the year of prophecy and so now it says here uh as far as the update it says according to a news report on february 4th Plummer passed away suddenly the cause of death has not been identified so whether or not this is due to the brain implant which my guess would be it was um or just you know or, or just the after effects of the surgery uh, I mean, even here in the image, you can see how deep the implant gets into his brain. So I'm pretty sure this was the cause. But um, this is basically the um, the uh, the the technology that Esau is testing out. Um, and it's just a matter of time before they um, actually start to implant implant. Um, these people with different implants and microchips, you know, which is in the scriptures, you know, Revelation, the 13th chapter, it goes all into it. You know, now you Israelites that can't see these things, then the Heavenly Father just isn't, you know, he's not dealing with you at all. All right. Um, but this is, is a part of that image that uh, of uh, the microchip of the mark of the beast that they want to push out there to the public. You know, if you get this brain implant, it'll stop you from basically drinking so much and smoking so much, you know. So they they pretty much tested it on this guy, and, and now he's passed away. So they got to go back to the drawing board, which now they got this guy, Elon Musk. He's working on uh, the Neuralink project, which is his own um, take on the microchip implant for your brain. And we're... We've yet to see what's the come of that, all right? So now I want to go back here. Um, how do neural implants work? I-E-E-E -E -E spectrum. This is from two weeks ago. 
Uh, claimed scientist gets brain surgery for alcohol addiction. Uh, from BBC News. This actually might be the same. Um, let's see here. Yeah, the same. Um, same guy here. All right. So, so this was in the uh, mainstream news. All right. Uh, let's see here. UPMC first in the U.S. to implant wireless retinal device. All right, same thing here. Uh, Becker's Hospital Review. UPMC first in U.S. to implant patient with wireless retina device, which is retinas for your eyes. Uh, Dr. John Nagai, named director of NIH Brain Initiative. I, I believe, uh, now this is from a week ago. Right, uh, I believe uh, the Brain Initiative was something started by uh, Obama back when he was um, in office. All right, and they was working with uh, DARPA. Okay, it says uh, a robot worm for your brain, medical robotics that can save your life. Uh, Croatian boy walks after successful brain implant at Dubrava Clinic. All right, so this is basically they, you know, what they're doing. I'm not going to go into all the articles, but this is um, just showing you that um, they are definitely testing these different brain implants on different uh, subjects and patients. And, um, you know, once they work out the kinks for a certain type of implant or whatever, uh, you know, they're going to make it mandatory soon. Okay. Um because it could be one design that doesn't work out, but then it'll be another uh, in, um, implant design that actually works, you know? But um, it's soon to come. And Esau knows he has a short time to get his agenda of his so-called New World Order um, up and rolling, you know, and to make these things mandatory. He knows he has a short time. So it's only... Uh, a short while before you start to see, a, um, you know, a uh, a jump to using these implants. Matter of fact, let's just go to the Bible. All right, let's go to uh, let's go to the Blue Letter, Blue Letter Bible, right? Just go to the Blue Letter Bible. Let's get the scripture. Revelation 13. Revelation 13. And we all know the scripture. This is Revelation 13 and 16. It says, And he called it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. That would be your, uh, uh, your brain implant, okay? Or your neural implant. It says in that no man might buy or sell, all right, and but and buying and selling is the um the um main focus in the scripture, but the 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 mark is gonna do a lot more things than just enabling you to buy and sell. Okay? It says in that no man no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. All right, and it's all going to be a part of this uh this new image, this system that Esau is going to set up, you know, for the future. And once that happens and it's made mandatory, then that's when when uh the destruction of America is going to be uh soon in hand. But with that, I'm gonna end it there. Uh, all praises, all glory, and all honors going to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. So I want to the hopeful elect.